previously on A Family Business. Do you really want a guy, seriously? I think I'm ready for it. This year, I've decided to put myself out there for love. I haven't been in love in so long. So I'm trying everything. If I set you up on a blind date, would you go? That would be so much fun to go on a blind date. But so far, nothing has happened. I was a quick guy when it came to sex, you know, I was a premium. What was it again? A Syrah. Syrah. Like the wine. So that was the, the purpose of the name. Ray, on the other hand, found love. You ain't finna be running no damn streets and staying out because you partying. But decided that he wasn't ready for relationships and wants to focus on his career. We got into it and it's over. I tried to tell Ray that he was making a huge mistake. I know where he gonna be. I think you should come with me. We going to that baby shower today. Is the lifestyle more important than love? But that didn't go well. What is the problem? There is no problem. And leave me. So we haven't talked since. The fight's enough. come out there. Ever since me and Britney broke up, I locked myself in the studio and I've been working on this song called Last Wish. It's basically about everything I've been going through in my relationship. Hey, what you, bro? Hold on, bro. You call me down here, man. What you working on? I got a new smash. I'm trying to get into a zone because everything I feel inside is going to connect for real because that's just where I'm at. So I've been locked in the studio. So what happened to you, man? You just left the baby shower. Out of nowhere, I'm looking up for you. I can't find you, man. What happened? Brand came through with Britney. Without you knowing. Yeah, she know me and Britney ain't even together right now. And Brand, why you bringing Britney to your baby shower? It's messed up because my family feels like I should be somebody else when all I can be is me. This is where I'm at in my life right now. And I did the right thing by keeping it real with Britney and breaking it off. And I just wish Brand would understand that. Like, what's up with you and Brandy right now? She was disrespecting me, hands down. She brought Brittany around and then tried to tell me who I was and what I need to do and I need to change who I am. You can't tell me that. You supposed to be on my team. Wow. That's, that's crazy to me. I'm just trying to figure it out. To me, it's like Brandy looking at our relationship like, damn, I want this so bad. You guys don't know what y'all missing with each other. That's not it. Like, relationships is hard. This ain't easy. If it was easy, then Brandy would be happy. And Brandy would live a fairy tale relationship. Everything is not always gonna be perfect. So while it's not perfect, you're supposed to have my back. Not Brittany's back. Let her cousin and her mama and her auntie and them have her back. What the hell are you doing? Respect that I'm done and respect that I gotta move on and work hard into my career and help me focus on that now. Don't try to bring me back into this pain, into this hurt that I'm going through. I don't wanna go through that no more, man. I mean, the truth is, I don't feel like Brandy was here for me. I mean, not really. And that's just straight up. It's just not cool that 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 she has no respect for, for, for my way of life. What you gonna do to try to fix this? Cause I'm, it's not cool to me. Man, I'ma just, you know, I ain't doing nothing. I'ma go my way, she go her way. I'ma do my music, she go dance with the stars. How's your voice doing? My voice is good. Come on, let me let me just Pops. Come on. Come on. Pops, please. Come on, I, just one exercise. I don't want to do Just one exercise. exercise. Broke out in song, Bob. My dad is the best. His wisdom is amazing. And not only has he been my singing coach, but he's been a mentor for me. It really bothers me that I haven't spoken to my brother. And I think that my dad is the best person to go to at this point because he always finds the right thing to say. So you been good? I've been good, Pops, but I just feel weird right now with this whole Ray thing. Just thought he was all right. I'm just really worried about him. 
Ray is in a place of everything is about his career. Like, he's willing to just, like, bounce on Britney. Well, you know, whatever decision that he makes, it's gonna be, it's gonna be his decision. Yeah, Dad, but I don't think that his decision is the right decision because, like, Pops, I'm lonely right now. Like, you know I don't have anybody in my life. And when I did have it, I took, I took advantage of it. And then when you don't have it, it feels like, oh my God, I had it, but then now I don't. And that's how I feel. I think it's a mistake for him to walk out on Britney and just say it's all about, you know, Ray J and my career, and my singles and my tour and all that. But it's if you don't have anybody to share that with, then, you know, it's not that he's... It's a lonely place. Yeah. It's a lonely place. That's exactly yeah. what it is, Pops. Yeah. I just don't want him to make the same mistake that I made. And I think sometimes Ray gets caught into his, you know, the ego thing, the macho thing. Well, like, you know, I'm just going to do my thing. You can't go ego on the whole situation. That's it. That's it. Like, don't go ego. It's like, it's so not it. Like, he's so great without the ego. I, I, I think you need to just let him know that, hey, if you fall, I'm going to tell you what's there. I'm going to tell you what's underneath. You know, and at the end of the day, he may not want you to tell him what to do, but he appreciates you because you care enough to try to. Thank you, Dad. You know, you just cannot not say anything. I think my dad is right. If I don't help Ray learn from the mistakes that I've made, well, thank you okay. again, Pops, for, for hearing me out. I gotta, I gotta go. I haven't given up on Ray yet because it's a strong possibility I can get through to him. Bye, Pops. Okay, Doug. Coming up, we would like to get a reading for my friend here. She's having a little trouble in the love area. Shay's latest scheme in helping my love life is taking me to a psychic. I don't know. What does that mean? All my single people make some other noise right now. Tonight, I'm free. Jay's latest scheme in helping me in my love life is taking me to a psychic. So I'm gonna go along for the ride for now. But. Hi. Hi. I'm Laura, nice to meet you. I'm Brandy, nice to meet you too. We would like to get a reading from my friend here. She's having a little trouble in the love area. We'll see what's going on. Go and have a seat there. Who knows, I mean, she could have some insight into what I need to do. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty open. She needs guidance. Just and you need help in the love area, too. <laughs> Come on, let's be nice. Well, whenever I hook her up, I'm sure he'll have a rich friend or a brother. So one for you is really one for us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no comedy during the reading thing? I'm just... Choose seven cards. Okay. Yeah, but... I don't know. What does that mean? It's Relax. It definitely showing the Queen of Swords, meaning you love to be in control. Mm-hmm. Same. Also, it does show romance. There he's showing up as the king. Basically, it's showing that he is surrounding you at the moment. Like, is there a dude that I need to be paying more attention to? Yes. There is someone surrounding you at the moment that mm. is interested in you. This person will be reaching out to you more. But you're holding back. You gotta reach out a little more. I don't know who he is. I'm confused because I don't want to start paying attention to the wrong person if he's not the king of pinnacles. <laughs> Where is this dude? I don't know who he is, what he looks like. I'm like, show yourself. I mean, reveal. I'm here. I'm here. Now. You will be attracted to him, but you are usually attracted to older men. Mm, mm, mm. But this guy that's coming your way, that's more your age group. You've been let down. You've been disappointed. But things are going to turn around in your favor. Things are picking up. Start looking for love. But you've got to go by what you feel and what you know. If you be a little bit more open-minded with yourself, I promise you this person will be able to approach you in the ways he wants to. Okay. Any questions? Hang in there, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. You've got it. I think what I've learned is to just be open, and hopefully this time I'll have some different results. We'll be back, definitely. We're Bye -bye. gonna come back and see you like every week. <laughs> This is my first night out as a single man. I've been on my best behavior through this whole relationship, but tonight, tonight, it's time to let the beast out of the cage.
I'm on a hunt tonight. All my single people make some up noise right now. Yeah. You dig? I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real single. So I'm looking for the flyest ladies in the spot. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a at the party. We're gonna blast this for the love of Ray J. Let's go, 2K. Let's do it. This is good. You know why? Because tonight I'm free. I'm able to hang out with this hot Asian, Spanish, Japanese, black, white, multicultural, bad mama. I should have done this a long time ago. Wait, hey. What up? Oh, you got the shoes for us. Oh, you do. So tonight I just wanted to have a little fun, so I invited Shay and Katis and Sean for a little bowling. I love bowling. You look nice, B. Thank well, you. At least somebody said so. You know, from your you perspective. Look absolutely amazing tonight. Oh. <laughs> you look amazing tonight. We starting? Let's go. All right. I got you, B. Wow. Yo, shit. Are you a little nervous bowling in front of me? <laughs> I was like, I think you like you. Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna kiss you. No, I'm just nice. You just like me because I'm nice. She likes you. Yeah. Can you not, like, say anything about it to I him? Won't. Okay, I won't. Thanks. Shay thinks that Sean might be into me, but I can't get a clear read on him. What's the deal? Huh? What's the school? What's the school? What's the school? I don't like when I'm you get me what I'm saying. Right. I'm just saying. Are you asking me something in general? I'm no, what? you know exactly what I'm asking. I really don't know what Cadis is talking about, but I'm very, very interested. Sit, sit, sit. So my homie Dre pulls up with the chick from the Gucci Man video. You remember Brasha, right? Single? I'm good in that area. So you are seeing something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucky. Well, you're single now. When Brasha and I met on set, it was some chemistry going on. But I was with Brittany at the time, and I didn't want to violate our space and violate what we had. But now I'm free. I'm a free man. So with that being said, why not go hang out and dibble and dabble? Coming up! You gotta understand who you are dealing with, I'm sorry. I'm a real animal. Yes. I'm an animal. Really? In my most animalistic stages, you know what I'm saying? And then you smell like soap. I don't know why, but there's something interesting about you. No, you know exactly what I'm asking. I really don't know what Cadis is talking about, but I'm very, very interested. Sit, sit, sit. What do you mean? No, ask me. I don't. I really don't know. I can't ask you. Oh, I'm Even Cadis is noticing that Sean and I are vibing. This is cool. I'm not about to rush into anything, but flirting is fun. What's, what's Being that I've known him since we were, you know, I was 15, he was 14, he's the type of guy that once you get past a certain point with him, that he's gonna open up and like give you everything. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like he'll be able to open up to you a little bit more. He just give you a little bit more, so, you know. I mean, what is he, what is he? Cause I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm not like trying to fish for information, but it's almost like when you, like if you're interested in someone, you want to know that they're that kind of interested in you. So that's cool. Yes. 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 Oh, 
Come on, Shay. Come on, let's go! Yeah! Oh, you got the extra spin on it, I'm saying. Hey! Oh! I do, I'm saying. Well done, well done. I'm about to see you in your white tee. Yep, in my white tee. Come on, sorry. <laughs> you all right? Good, relax. Okay, well, I'm a mom. Sometimes I have that instinct to kind of help, you know? Hey, okay, mom. Just not your mom. Getting Milk? The there you go. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> For real? Kata says that Sean takes a while to open up, and I'm the same way, so I completely respect that. You know, tonight is just us having a good time, but I'm just trying to see where this is going. Oh! <laughs> I can't say wait, 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 wait. It's the pep talk. You pep might beat me in Jumil. I know we were trying to talk last time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just couldn't hear you in there, and then they keep coming out, and I still can't. But I'm just on a whole new pace tonight. But you got to understand who you're dealing with. I'm sorry. I'm a real animal. Yes. I'm an animal. Really? And then I run into you in my most animalistic stages. You know what I'm saying? And then you smell like soap. I don't know why, but there's something interesting about you. You know what I'm saying? Now let's get out of here. Let okay. me get you home. Let me get you home safe tonight. All Thank right? Thank you. I brought you some coffee anyway. I didn't know whether Thanks. you wanted any or not. I'm Oof. just so stressed out. That's too strong? This is good. Uh, it's either you, me, or the iPad. I'm just catching up on some stuff. I, you know, I, I had a couple of clients today, and Brandy came by. Mm -hmm. You know, and so she told me something that was kind of disturbing. Like what? You know, she was all concerned. She was telling me that she brought Brittany over to the, to the baby shower. And Ray J got very, very upset. Why did he get upset? I understand that they were, had broken up. And because he got upset, she was kind of concerned about it. I'm concerned about it both, you know, cause this could. I don't ever, I don't worry about them when they have spats. Let me tell you why I'm concerned about it. Why? She don't usually come and tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. This runs deep. She's dealing in his personal life. That's a whole nother banana. But he deals in her personal life when- No, he doesn't. Oh, please. But he's always on her side. She wasn't considering how he felt. I understand how he felt. I understand what Brandon's talking about, too. I just think that, you know, growing up, my conversation was always, it's you and it's Brand. And to Brand, it's you and it's Ray J. And you got to look after each other. And so if you have a spat here and there, I think that's good growing up. I don't think she intentionally took Brittany down there and to, you know, to hurt Ray. And I think that Brandy and Ray will work through their differences. And they, they always have. You don't think it's a reason to worry? Mm -mm. Nope. I think that they have to work through their differences and respect each other in terms of their adulthood. Well, you got a lot of faith in their relationship. I think this whole situation is more than what Sonya think it is. I've never seen it on this level. We have a real situation here. Well, what do you plan to do about it? I'm just, I'm just gonna be prayerful about it. I really am. Next time on Family Business. Yo, yo. What up, Billy? What up, brother? Me and Brittany done. Listen, you did it and you gotta live with it. As long as you're gonna stay focused, we got the listening party, that's gonna be big. My listening party is tonight, so I gotta be at the top of my game tonight. Yeah, no, I'm focused. I just wanted to know what I would have done in the finals. I tried to dial your number. You know what came up on the second call? What? Thank you for voting for Bristol and Mark. Honestly, my biggest problem right now is the fact that I'm not talking to Ray. I've walked past you three times and you haven't said anything to First me. First off, I'm gonna continue to be me. Or are you talking about your career? I'm talking, or are you talking about, about like in your personal life. My career is my personal but life. But I'm not talking about your career, dude. Now I'm starting to feel like you jealous of me. Jealous? <laughs>